We're going to do an infiltration on the 23-24 area. The nerves are the long terminal branches. The areas to anesthetize for the maxillary is the pulp, soft tissue, bone in the area of the injection. For the mandibular, it's only the soft tissue in the area of the tooth. For the needle gauge and length, we're going to use a 25 or 27 short needle. The patient position is going to be supine. The operator position is going to depend on the area. The landmarks for the maxillary and mandibular is the mucobuccal fold parallel to the root, close to the bone, and apex over the tooth. For the mandibular only, you're going to use the junction of the lingual attached gingiva and the floor of the mouth parallel to the tooth axis near the target tooth and close to the bone. The syringe position and location of the area of the injection is parallel with the long axis of the tooth at the height of the mucobuccal fold and over the target tooth. Like so. The bevel orientation is going to face towards the bone. There will be no pressure anesthesia. The depth of the needle insertion for the maxillary will be at the apex of the tooth for the mandibular until the bevel is covered about two to three millimeters. There is no osseous contact. Aspiration potential is less than 1%. Negative aspiration. The amount of solution is less than 0.6 millimeters over about 20 seconds.